Hello, I am Andy Rust. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a pattern background in Flash. Okay, so you can make the backgrounds in Flash. You can actually do basically everything in Flash, but I took it upon myself to make it in Photoshop. So it's Open it up in Photoshop. I want to see. What, I want to let you guys know what I did. <laughs> Got to wait for this thing to load. And yep. Uh huh. So what we're gonna do? I, I already have a file that I uh, already did recently. But when you, if you did, if you don't. Then, oops. Then what would what what you should do because uh, Flash, uh, their standard. Uh, when you open a new file, a new project, it is the pixels are 550 by 400. So when you make a new thing here, you go in here, you title it whatever, and uh, I already have it. Um, you put in 550 by 400. Usually that's a different number, but that's where you put it right here. Bingo, 550 by 400. And that'll cover the whole stage on uh, ActionScript 2.0 in Flash. But uh, since I already did it, we're gonna open this up right here. Bingo. I was like, you know what? I need a line to, you know, designate where the ground is. And uh, then you put the, you know, that's the, no, that's the, uh, that's the background. I guess, and this is the foreground right there. Yeah, something, and then I was, you know, I didn't really like a sky because I did have a sky. Bing -y. Well, you know what? No, we're gonna go with Grumpy Cat and uh, a Tie Fighter with um, jeez, a Tie Fighter with Nicholas Cage's face on it. I also have some other stuff in here. Yeah, yeah, make that grass look a little real. Not really. Anyways, this is the size you want. Since I already did it, I'm just gonna quit this stuff. Why would I, why would I wanna save? No, don't save. Not that. Alright, so then we wanna open up Flash. Welcome to Flash. Professional CS5. I'm basically. I'm just specifically going to go over panning backgrounds. There's some other stuff in there that is an addition to it, but let me show you panning backgrounds. And I will show you the other things later. Um, we don't want to do Action Script 3.0 because, well, I guess you could, but we're not going to. Action Script 2.0 is, or what did I say 3.0? 2.0, yeah, no. We want 2.0, anyways. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go File, we're gonna go to Import, we're gonna import to Library because I want to. And it's a little easier, kind of. So we're gonna import to Library, gonna bring up this little preparing to import. Then, I'm gonna go to my desktop, go to Tutorials, because this is what I do, and then I'm gonna go to the I say that it's really cool background. <laughs> okay, so now we have this guy, really cool background, and we're gonna just put this right onto the stage. Now you might may need to do some adjustments there. Usually they have like little marks, usually magnets to that. There you go. So then we have here. You know, what's we're gonna make this layer? I'm gonna call it BG for background. And so then, what I like to do is, I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit. You can zoom out with command minus symbol if you feel so inclined to do so. And so what I do, I like to, um, you just line these guys up just to where it's, you know, a repeating background. Zoom in right here. Make sure it's on it so it doesn't look weird. God damn. What the f 
Holy sh! Boop. People text me. Boop. Man. All right, that looks not right. But, anyways, the goal to this would be. I mean, obviously, if you're gonna make a panning background, I didn't do that very well. But you want these two pieces to be connecting right here. Apparently, I'm not very good at that, so. Let me write. We'll do. We'll do two for now. Because I think that's all I need. You can do two or more, because what you want, you want it to repeat. Right. I mean, you could do one. But we're not going to do that. Um, so we have two right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to convert this guy into a symbol. This basically means they converge together and it's one thing. So we're going to put BG. That's C. And it's going to come right here. Right over here. Um, then next, what we're going to do is... We can set it to, uh, I guess we'll set it to 20. We'll go like this, and we will insert frame. Bingo. And this last frame, we, we want to make it a keyframe. So what we're going to do here is make, you can either do a motion tween or classic tween. I'm gonna do classic tween because it's kind of the easier one. So we have this little arrow meaning this is all the frames in between of what it has and this is the keyframe of which you need to move this guy at. So what we're going to do is move this guy. You have to select, first off, select this keyframe right here and move it over. Move over your symbol background. I guess I'm doing it with an arrow because I don't feel like. Let me see where I'm at. Okay, usually, okay, and there you go. You get you get the gist of that. So we have that, and if you want to go back and play back, boop ba doo. It's kind of fast, but whatever. And that's how you make a basic panning background. <laughs> 